But yeah, um, so I'd like to, you guys have any other dipping channels that are actually entertaining and informational? I'd love to know, leave some comments below that you know any. Oh, and again, huge shout out, out to Outlaw Dipper. He's a total inspiration to me, and maybe, who knows, it'll be an inspiration to some of y'all. But go watch him. Extremely funny. And he packs bombs. But definitely go follow him. Or subscribe, sorry. And also, follow me on social media. I have um, Instagram and Twitter. So you can find me on Instagram at Sergeant.Cofino. C O F I N O. And then for Twitter, it's, um, mm, gotta change my name before I tell you all that. I have my first and my last name on there. Don't want that. So, and I know that right now my channel name is under Rebel Dipper. And I didn't realize this when I made it that there's a shitload of people under that name. So, that's probably really hard to find for any of my friends that I've been telling to find me on YouTube. So, hopefully tonight, if my Wi-Fi starts working again, I'm going to change my name to Rebel Dipper under, I mean, Rebel Dipper 42 underscore Georgia. So, it'll still be the same channel, just different name. And, I'm looking forward to making more videos of this. Keep packing some Copenhagen Long Cut. As I said, this is what we're dipping today. It, Copenhagen is my everyday dip. Now, Leave in the comments what your everyday dip is, because I'm really interested, looking for more dips to do, because I've been dipping this since probably about the beginning. This is the first dip I ever tried, and I will make a video of that. My first dipping experience, my best dipping experience, and my worst dipping experience. These are all great stories. I'd love to go into it, but I don't want to waste all y'all's time tonight. But, hmm. You know, I guess I can go ahead and tell y'all. Um, I'll do my first dipping experience. Because I got I don't have anything to do, so... I'm sure you guys don't either, because that's why y'all are on YouTube watching me. Anyways, so... This is probably the summer before freshman year of high school. Which was last summer. Now, my dad, he, he always dipped... Copenhagen, of course, so I grew up around Copenhagen, so it was already in my mind that Copenhagen is the only dip I knew, from like, nostalgia, I guess, so, I was at Six Flags with my best friend Justin, who I talked about earlier in the vid, and we were in line for some, some water ride, and I saw this guy, he had big old... Copenhagen ring in the back pocket of jeans. So, of course, I was like, hmm, I wonder where that's like. And my buddy had the same idea. He was like, hey, we should try some of that. I was like, hell yeah. Now, so we asked him if he'd give us a pinch. And he was like, you know what? Sure. So, damn. I'd been packing the jerky dip, Jack Link's type of shit. Not dip, I was like, you know, jerky. So, he pulled out his can, it was the classic looking can, and um, I packed it, knew how to pack, and I opened it up. I remember the smell being fantastic, it's like, fantastic. So, I took a pinch, about this big. I put it in. Put it in the front. Not a good idea for a first time dipper. Put him right here. So I had it in, got on the ride with him. He was on the same thing we were. And I remember the buzz of that first dip, because Copenhagen's strong as shit, man. So the buzz. I had my head spinning, I hurt, my whole body tingled. And we were already having a rush from the ride, so it was a great experience. Probably one of my favorites. And just so you know, I've been dipping for probably about eight, nine months now. So I'm still technically a beginner, but not so much. 
I'm almost to a year. So, that was my first dip. I remember, I didn't take it out or anything. I just kept spitting the entire time. It was like constant, constant, constant. And, like, I just remember towards the end, I just kept spitting out little bits of dip over time. So, I didn't take it out or nothing. It was just in there. Hold on. Sorry. Anyways, the um, buzz was amazing. And so that was my first dipping experience. I was probably about 14. No, I was 15. I was I was 14. Cause I'm 16 now. My birthday is in January, so. So yeah, I was 14 years old. My first dip. Amazing. And then like probably when school started, I hadn't dipped since then. It was towards the end of summer when I did it. I had an older buddy. And I knew he dipped. He'd been dipping forever. He always offered me one, but I was like, nah, Jim wouldn't try it. And he, um, I always knew he dipped, so he was of age. I remember when I school started, I texted him. I was like, sorry, man, I got the dick hip, uh, dip hiccups, not dick hiccups, not gay. So. I texted him, I was like, hey man, can you give me a can of Copenhagen uh, Wintergreen? Wintergreen was my first, like, my my first real dip. Like, full can, big pinch, you know. So, he was like, you sure you want Copenhagen? That's some strong shit. I can get you, like, Skull of Grizzly. I was like, no, oh, man, I want, if I'm going to do this, I want to do the, the good shit. I want to do Copenhagen. He was like, all right. Next day of school, he had my can for me. Man. As soon as I got home, locked my door, locked myself in here, packed a fatty. Mm, that was good. From then on, I've been dipping ever since. And the longest I've ever gone without a dip was a month. And that's because I was trying to quit because my parents were trying to make me. And I was like, I, I liked it. I'm not going to quit. So I picked it back up again probably couple months back probably like three so yeah that was my first dipping experience I'm sorry I gave you all a little bit more than y'all bargained for but I don't know maybe you liked it let me know if you liked it and if you want to hear more stories like that but give me something to talk about at least so don't forget leave in the comments uh, the stuff I asked in the beginning of the video I can't really remember what it was it was like how y'all like to eat squirrel what your daily dip is and like, if you know any female dippers, let me know, and stuff like that. I'm sorry I'm giving y'all so much questions, but you guys have been typing a paragraph, it's going to be forever for me to read all these, but don't forget, hit the subscribe right down there, and uh, just help me grow, guys. Thanks.